Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petrito. Today I'm going to show you how I drew up these make and play neon signs in Adobe Illustrator. So let's head on over to my office and get started. So we're in Adobe Illustrator. We're doing a new file here and I want my width to be 24 and my height to be 10. We are going to hit create. So the first thing I want to do is grab our type tool and type in the word play. So I'm going to select that. Let's make this a lot bigger so we can see what's going on here. For the sign, I used Helvetica New Condensed Black and that gave me a good start. Just looking at this, I didn't like how there's this big space here. So I changed this capital L to a lowercase l and I like the way this looks a little bit better, at least for our neon sign. So that's a good starting point. So I want to make sure that I have smart guides on. I'm going to grab my pen tool and make sure I have a black stroke with no fill. So now we're going to start drawing. So I'm just going to start on the left hand side here, start way out here, make a point and I'm going to hold down shift. And what that does is makes everything either horizontal, vertical, or at a 45 degree angle. I can't go in between. If I let go of shift, you can see I can go at any angle. So I'm going to hold down shift and go to this point here and up here. I'm just going to trace everything and I'm not worried about being exact. That looks like it's good enough. Hold down shift, come down here, here, here. Just keep doing this all the way around. Got to let go of shift because this is not a 45 degree angle. And then there we go. Hit escape because we're done drawing. Going to go to my selection tool grab the word play and just move that off our artboard for right now. So I'm looking at this and I want a little bit more space here. So I'm going to go to our direct select tool and then select all of this from here and then just move that to the right. If I hold down shift, it'll stay in the same line and snap to where I want it to be. That is looking good. I think I want this Y a little bit more to the right as well. So I'm going to select all that plus that little point right there and then just move that over. There. I think that is looking good. I know that this neon is not going to make this really sharp turn. So I'm going to grab this point and I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I think that looks good right there. So now we need to round over all of these corners. So I will select that with our selection tool, go up to effect, select stylize round corners. And I'm just going to pick something and hit okay. Click off of there, look at it. That is way too much. It really distorted some of these lines. But if I click on this and I use our direct select tool, I it gives me these little these little handles where I can actually change that and I can dial in exactly what I want here and this is as far as I can go I can see that the Y is a little bit weird right here still so with our direct select tool I'm gonna to select this point and this point and I'm gonna hit arrow down just bring that down just a little bit so now that I like that, I am going to go over to our rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a box over that. That looks good right there. And then the rectangle automatically gives me this little handle to pull for round corners. And I'm going to do that. So I'm going to bring this in over here. Bring this in over here. Maybe bring this up. I'm just eyeballing all of this. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to select those two paths. I'm going to go up to effect, 
warp and arc and now it's going to you can do something crazy I don't want crazy I want subtle and that looks pretty good so I'm gonna hit OK I think the rounded corner on this outside box is a little too much so I'm going to reduce that a little bit that's better I'm gonna bring this in I'm just eyeballing this what looks best to my eye I think I'm happy with that I do need to bring this point out a little bit so it touches so I'm gonna hit a a selects the direct select tool and I'm just going to bring this out until it touches the outside line bring this one in so right now I can still change all the rounded corners and the amount of arc on there but I'm going to commit so I'm going to select it all and I'm going to go to object expand appearance and then that is our final design right there so if you kind of wanted to preview what the router is going to do to the word play I will select this go over to our stroke panel and just give it a nice big stroke and kind of give a get an idea of what it's going to do I'm happy with all of that so I'm going to go back down to one point now to print this out actually let's get this all centered here so I'm going to select both of those paths make sure I am aligned to artboard and then center and center so now it is in the middle of this 24 by 10 board and whoops we need this needs to go back to one point there we go now I want to print this out but this is way too big for eight and a half by 11 printer so what you got to do is you have to tile it so we're going to go to print command P and down here this might some things might be a little bit different uh, depending on what printer you have but if you go down to scaling and right now it says do not scale so as you can see this is a preview of what it's going to print a lot of it is not going to go on that paper but if I go to tile full pages it's going to tile this over three pages and this is exactly what I want so now I can print this out so now that these are printed out it's time to tape them together most printers cannot print all the way to the edge so there will be a little gap where you'll have to fill that in with a pen or a pencil but it does line up perfect if you haven't seen over on my main channel we made these neon signs using a router and I just wanted to quickly show you how I drew this up in Illustrator pretty darn simple just wanted to let you know that we have make and play t-shirts available in the store so if you like making and playing like me grab a shirt I do have these blanks made up and for sale on my website they are just MDF with the channel cut out all you have to do is paint this you have to buy the neon and you stick it in there you don't even have to use glue it just friction fits right into that groove you bring the wire to the back add some hanging hardware and you are good to go so these are for sale on my website I also have make and play t-shirts for sale on my website and if you're not subscribed to my main channel or this channel you're going to want to do so because we do all kinds of cool fun stuff so that is going to wrap it up thank you for watching as always be safe have fun stay passionate and make something